What's up, Space Pirates? This is your captain, the chronically charismatic Dr. Disaster, and we have got to talk about another client of Sweet Baby Inc. and what one of their loudmouth community managers is saying online. It's like they just can't help outing themselves as unhinged wokesters like the guy who rats on himself when he rips ass in a crowded room. It was me! Yeah, this time it was the game developer Heart Machine who dealt it. This Twitter user, Yee Yee here, is a community manager for Heart Machine, which has worked with Sweet Baby Inc. in some capacity or another, and she has posted a ton of garbage on Twitter showcasing her DEI obsessions, especially this mind-numbingly stupid video. Cabrutus Rambo himself uncovered this clip, and immediately after he reposted it, she tried to distance herself from what she said, but that will not work. Sweet Baby Ink Detected is working. As we uncover these troglodytes, they seem to get real nervous. They don't want to be noticed next. Wait, wait a minute. You, you gotta understand, man. I, I, I never even saw these assholes before. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also, don't forget to follow me over on Twitter where I am now keeping a list of woke slash DEI infested games to avoid pinned to my account at all times. My handle over there is Dr. Disaster One. But now we are going to watch this video that Cabrutus found. But first, a little background on what we're looking at. This Twitter user, Yee Yee, is the community manager for Heart Machine, which developed the game Hyper Light Breaker. To be clear, this title is already included on Sweet Baby Inc. Detected and on my own personal list because it was featured on Sweet Baby's homepage at one point. However, we didn't know much about the studio, so I personally left their other titles alone. Now that I've seen the way this woman thinks, well, I don't want to support any company that employs her, so we're going to add their other titles to the list. We'll go over those in a few minutes, but without further ado, let's have a glance into what this community manager was saying on Twitter that caught Cabrutus' attention. I help run an indie game dev collective in New York City, and we have a diversity problem. Specifically, we have a problem with there not being enough women in the space. Oh, dear God, no! Oh man, if there's one thing I hate, it's for people to have free will and to choose to do something other than what I want them to do. So man, I really feel for this woman. But let's listen on. Currently, we have about 40-some full-time members, and of those, seven are women. The joke for the longest time was that we have more Johns than we have women. And then I did the count, and actually we have nine Johns and seven women. So, yikes. Stop it. Get some help. Yeah, yikes indeed, lady, but not for the same reasons that you're saying yikes. I'm saying yikes because I can't imagine being so shallow as to sit and count something like that. To count the number of women in a room compared to the number of people named John. That is silly. Anyhow, carry on. It is a problem. I also separately run a women in games meetup that is hosted at the same nonprofit space, and I sent out a poll to the members of the Women in Games meetup to ask them what we can do to make the space feel more inclusive and welcoming and accommodating to women. And I'm just curious what other people might think. What are some good, actionable suggestions that you might have? Why don't you do the world a favor and pull your lip over your head 
and swallow. Yeah, I've got a suggestion. Stop obsessing over this shit. Stop making it your life's mission to try to push people into doing things they don't necessarily want to do or aren't necessarily qualified to do. I've said it before and I will say it again because it is demonstrably true. Males are generally far more interested in gaming, so it tracks that there would be more of them in your little club. For context, Gumbo is the city's largest collective of indie game developers in a nonprofit co-working space. So some of the things we think might contribute to women not coming in is it's too far away, maybe there's too many men, maybe it just doesn't feel welcoming enough, maybe the kinds of events that we offer are not ones that women tend to be more interested in, maybe it's just not clear what game development actually is. Or some of our events are too big or too small. Notice how not one of those possibilities that she mentioned is that maybe women have better things to do than go hang out in your little DEI circle jerk club. The only types of people who want to do this are woke, obsessed, weirdos, and the male feminist types who think this is a great place to virtue signal and pick up chicks, and I imagine that isn't terribly appealing for most people. There are a lot of factors at play here. Some of them are systemic and institutional, some of them definitely have to do with specific items related to our space, but I don't know what I don't know, and the org certainly doesn't know, so we're just reaching out and trying to find out from as many people as possible, hear as many perspectives as possible about how we can improve our space for women and make them feel more welcome and included. I don't believe you. Well, they claim they want all opinions, except I can't imagine that they would want any of mine. But that is, of course, because what they preach is not a diversity of thought, which ought to be the goal, but it is a diversity of the shallow, skin-deep variety that is only about keeping up appearances. But here, she's trying to call off the dogs in this tweet as soon as Cabrutus noticed what she said. She wrote, Gumbo doesn't make any games or do any hiring. It's a non-profit co-working space. Everyone who helps run it is a volunteer. And you know, I'm sure that covers her legally. Did you ever notice these people get real legal with things whenever you notice what they're saying? They know their shit is culturally unpopular, but they use their loopholes to weasel out of trouble. But in any event, if you want more evidence that this person is an insufferable DEI obsessed wokester, then look at this. This is just one of many tweets where she gets super political and hates on Donald Trump, which that's fine if you don't like the guy. I don't care, but I don't think that it's appropriate to do this in her position as a community manager on social media, and it's especially telling that she is so aggressive about it. Suffice to say, it's no surprise that a company who would employ this person would also consult with Sweet Baby when developing their games. With that in mind, I am adding the following titles to my own personal list of woke and DEI infested games. Hyper Light Drifter and Solar Ash are both projects of this studio, and I do not recommend that you buy either of them if you don't care for the sort of thing that this DEI obsessed woman is pushing. And while you're at it, definitely do not buy the one that's coming out this year either, Hyper Light Breaker, which was already on the list. But I'm going to leave it there. What do you make of this woman and her over-the-top approach to everything? I think she's a little too plugged in to all this corporate speak myself. But what do you think? Drop your thoughts down below and we will talk there. Thanks for watching me, hearties. If you haven't already, your captain is inviting you to subscribe to the channel and become a part of the crew. Life as a space pirate may not be glamorous, but there's always plenty of booty.